Are you looking to get new meat rabbits? You're wondering whether you should spend the extra money and invest in a pedigreed meat rabbit or just buy a cheap backyard rabbit from somebody on Craigslist who doesn't know the lineage. That's what we're going to answer in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another slightly rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And like I said in the intro today, we're going to be talking about pedigreed meat rabbits and really, is it really worth the extra investment? Now, let's first of all talk about what is the extra investment. Around here, pedigreed meat rabbits usually go for about $40 to $50 a rabbit which is pretty high considering I can go on Craigslist, find somebody that's just got a backyard meat, you know, meat rabbit that they've been, you know, who knows where it came from, and I could probably buy that for about $10. So is it worth the extra $30 to $40 investment just for one rabbit if you're just looking at breeding for meat and you're not planning on selling the rabbits? If you're planning on selling them, you probably want to invest in pedigreed rabbits because you're going to command a higher price for pedigreed rabbits than you will for just non-pedigreed rabbits. And that kind of goes without saying. But if you're just looking for breeding for meat and you're not worried about selling them or, or any of those kinds of things, is it really worth the extra investment? I would argue that it probably is. And here's the biggest reason is because you're going to end up saving more money by investing in a little bit better breeding stock initially than you would by buying a cheap rabbit and, and getting away cheap to begin with because the grow out rates on a pedigreed rabbit, they've been bred for generation after generation, that lineage has been tracked, and, and you'll know what breeding stock they came from. Your genetics are much, much stronger. So you're gonna end up with faster grow outs, you're gonna end up with a higher, um, high, bigger litter counts in general, um, rabbits that usually will do a better job of taking care of their baby rabbits, so you're not gonna have as many problems um, as you do with just kind of cheap backyard rabbits that may not be good mothers. Um, you're not going to have to worry about grow out rates taking forever. I've got mosquitoes coming after me. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here, but back to the topic. So let me give you a real world example here. Um, I have had both pedigreed and non-pedigreed rabbits. Now the ones I have right now are not pedigreed. That's because it just wasn't an option. I couldn't find any pedigreed rabbits when it was time to buy these. My buck is a pretty good buck. I mean, he's not, I think he was pedigreed. I just didn't get the pedigree paperwork with him but he's a pretty good California buck. There's nothing wrong with him at all. My doe, on the other hand, is a New Zealand white. She is not pedigreed, and I'm questioning whether she's even a full-blooded New Zealand white. I don't think she is. Here's the biggest reason. I think she has a Flemish giant mixed in with her. And the problem with that is that Flemish giant grows out incredibly slow. So when I had pedigreed New Zealand white and a pedigreed California buck, and I bred them together, I almost always get at least 10 to 11 babies per litter. Those babies would hit five pounds processing weight by eight weeks old. Now, with this doe, she has pretty good litter size, 10, nine to 10 babies usually. Um, she does a great job of taking care of them, but it takes them at least 12 weeks to get to five pounds. So that's a whole extra month worth of feeding those baby rabbits out before I can process them and put them in the freezer. And that extra feed cost adds up, especially if you're talking about litter sizes of 10 or more baby bunnies. So it would've been better off for me to spend $40 or $50. I got her for, I think it was $10 is what I paid for her. It would've been better off for me to spend an extra 30 or $40 on her and get babies that grow out to eight weeks old, save myself a month worth of feed cost. So not only that, but if you do ever plan on selling baby rabbits or selling rabbits or just having some for trade to trade with other breeders, you really need to get good pedigreed rabbits. Now in that case, if that's your plan, you need to get rabbits of the same breed. So two New Zealand whites or two California bucks or, or not bucks, two Californias or two silver foxes or whatever, whatever breed you want to breed. It doesn't really matter. But if all you're looking for meat production, I, you know, I usually suggest getting two of a different breed, so a California and a New Zealand, because you get that hybrid vigor in that first uh, layer. Now, you won't be able to pedigree those, so you won't be able to sell those necessarily for a high price. You wouldn't be able to trade them off with other breeders for new bloodlines or any of those kinds of things, but if you're not worried about that, that's a great way to go. So, you can bet it's getting pretty close to time for me to change these rabbits out and get some new rabbits, and you can bet I'm gonna be looking for pedigreed rabbits. So let's talk about that for a second. Where do you find a pedigreed rabbit? 
there's a couple of places you can look. If you have a um, 4-H club or, or something like that in your area, that's a great place to look. They're generally going to be showing those rabbits at fairs and things like that. They will have to be pedigreed and registered in order to be shown at a fair. So that's a great place to look. You might be able to find resources there. Um, other than that, you can look on American Rabbit Breeders Association online, and you might be able to find a breeder that lives in your area. Now, the closest I found to me is about an hour away, uh, one direction, or two hours away the other way. It's either Springfield, Missouri, or Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's about the closest I've been able to find. It's a little bit tricky sometimes to find good um, rabbit breeders that, that do pedigree, but you know, if you look hard enough, you can find them. Now, there are I will say there are other rabbit breeders that do pedigreed rabbits in my area, but they're mostly uh, pet breeders like Holland Lops and Mini Rexes and those kinds of things. For meat rabbits, I've got to go a little ways. And you may have to make that extra investment in the rabbit and commit to traveling a little bit further too, but it's really just a one-time investment until you need new rabbits if you don't breed and, and keep the offspring. But it's really just a one-time investment. And again, it's going to pay off. You're going to see savings in the long run. So it's a matter of whether you want to spend that money now or spend that money in the long run. And considering a doe can produce for a good pedigree doe anyway for three to five years, probably closer to five years for most cases for a good pedigree doe. You know, if you get a good a beef, uh, backyard meat rabbit that who knows the lineage and it's got some other things mixed in with it, you may only get about three years out of it. But still, three years of an extra month of feed for every baby that she produces, it's gonna add up pretty quick. So yeah, it probably is better to look for pedigree meat rabbits if you have the ability to do so. Now, I will say there is an exception to every rule. That doesn't mean that every time you buy a rabbit from a backyard breeder that you're gonna get just junk rabbits. But your odds are much, much higher that if you invest in a pedigree, you're gonna be much better off than just taking your chances with somebody's backyard rabbit. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You got the information you needed out of it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.